Hey everybody, it's Ramona, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back. Uh, I apologize for this filming situation right here. Still kind of getting situated in the office and finding a place to film and not sure where that is going to be, but today it's going to be right here. So we are here today to talk about some bring back my bar thoughts that I have. Um, I've melted six so far and uh, I'm working on another couple, so I'll probably have another few on Scentsy Saturday, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, this is part one. We have six cents here, so grab a pen and paper, make some notes, and see what how this works for you. So the first, and I have my uh, notes right here, is Perk Me Up. And we'll first talk about the scent notes, which are um, Guatemalan coffee beans and a touch of hazelnut. So I really like this. I love coffee scents. If you know me at all, you, lo you know I love coffee. And I actually love this one. And I have said in the past, and I stand by what I said, that I didn't feel that Scentsy did coffee scents very well. I've only had a couple. They don't do a lot. And the couple that I did have just really didn't do it for me. However, this one really does do it for me. It is strong coffee. I do get a little bit of hazelnut. I can't really say that it was um, strong, but um, I really got the def I definitely got uh, Guatemalan coffee for sure. So scent appeal for me was nine. I love this. It, you know, for if you're a coffee lover. And you want to try a Scentsy coffee, definitely uh, Perk Me Up is the way to go. Um, and I want to also remind you, which is what I, I'm going to be doing as well, put some in your Scentsy Club. Even if you don't have them yet, I mean, I'm a consultant, so I have the benefit of getting my kit ahead of time. But if it's something that you think you'll like based on the scent notes, based on the name, based on my reviews, if we're kind of in the same lane as far as scent notes go and what we like and don't like, Throw it in your Scentsy Club. You can always remove it. No big deal. If you don't have a Scentsy Club, Bring Back My Bar is the perfect time to start a Scentsy Club. Uh, it's not a club that requires any monthly fees or applications or anything like that. It's just a system of auto delivery of getting things that you love and you don't want to be without them because even when Bring My, My Bar goes away, Perk Me Up is going away as well. So you won't be able to order it anymore. But if you have it in your club, you will continue to get it even after it's been discontinued until the time you say, I don't think I want it anymore. Once you say that though, and you take it out of your club, you can't get it back. So be very aware of that. But anyway, so Sensi Club, auto delivery, you can set it up on one month, two month or three month intervals or a combination. For me, I have my whiff box coming in my club every one month, every month. And then I have some favorite wax bars that I have coming every three months. So if you need any help, if you want have questions, let me know. Um, but definitely if you don't have a Sensi Club, what are you waiting for? That's all I can say. Anything that's consumable can go in your Scentsy Club. Car bars, laundry products, cleaning products, pet care products, body care products, and wax. Anything consumable can go in your Scentsy Club. So keep that in mind. So again, if there's something that you think you're going to like, but you're not sure and you haven't placed your order yet, put it in your club and you can always take it out. Okay, moving on. Okay, so no, I did not finish with this. Scent appeal for me is nine out of 10. I really enjoyed this one. If you just like really strong coffee scents without too much added to it, I think you will like this one. Throw is very decent. I call it seven to eight. Um, sometimes coffee scents can be really super strong and just be uh, based on the fact that um, coffee is generally a stronger scent than something else, baby powder, obviously. So seven to eight was very present. I liked it. Enjoy it. Didn't blow me out of the house. It was okay. I liked it. Next, we're going to talk about pear blossom and cucumber right here. And this was a lovely little green wax, very similar to uh, Bonfire Beach. And I got it mixed up one day. Okay. Pear blossom and cucumber. And I do need to put my readers on. Pear blossom and cucumber is... Um, da, da, da. Pear Blossom, Rain Kiss, Jasmine, Honeydew, Meyer Lemon, Cucumber Water. Yeah, so that's a lot of scents going on right there. Um, 
So there's floral from the pear blossom, floral from the jasmine, honeydew, Meyer lemon, cucumber water. This one, I, <clears throat> I liked it. I didn't love it. I gave it a six out of 10 on scent appeal. I found this to be a little too floral for my liking. I'm not a big on florals. And just the uh, the pear blossom and the jasmine and then the cucumber water. Yeah, it just made it really kind of, not that the cucumber water is floral, but the other two florals and the cucumber water just kind of, like I said, I like it. I didn't love it. Um, I didn't smell any Meyer lemon. Had I smelled lemon, I might totally have changed my review. Um, because I do like fruity floral together. However, I did not get the Meyer lemon. Maybe I got some honeydew, which I don't care for that either. So all in all, it wasn't one that I probably would, you know, rush out and buy. So uh, scent appeal for me, I gave it a six. And surprisingly, generally speaking, if I don't care for something, the throw was really good. I thought the throw, I gave it a five out of 10. I thought the throw on this one was fairly light. So I'm not sure where everybody else is at on that, but I gave it a five for throw, five out of 10. Okay, Mediterranean Spa is next. <clears throat> Blue wax. And let's see, Mediterranean Spa is smooth, fresh, and breezy, which it is. And it doesn't say it in the scent note, smooth, uh, what does it say? Smooth, fresh, and breezy, but... Um, I found it kind of, there was a strong aquatic note in here is kind of indicated, I guess, by the name Mediterranean. I would, you know, co you know, think of Mediterranean Sea when I hear that. So um, it was fresh. It was smooth. It was very aquatic. If you like fresh scents, you will like it. Um, and where are my notes? I gave this a seven to eight for scent appeal and a nine for throw. This one really threw well. So if you like fresh aquatic scents, you like strong fresh aquatic scents, Mediterranean Spa, I think you will love it. I really loved it. Um, I know I, did, I said, yeah, seven to eight. I loved it. I did really love it. I loved it. Okay, moving on. What I did love, however, was Peppermint Rush because I love all things peppermint in wax. Um, this is peppermint, sweet vanilla, and freshly fallen snow. So I can smell it just behind the camera here. It is so good. I give it a 9 to 10 of, of scent appeal. So it is very strong peppermint. What, what I liked about it, <clears throat> pardon me, and I didn't think I would, and I've had this in the past, and I keep saying I like perfect peppermint better. I may stand corrected. Maybe my nose has changed, whatever happens, you know, over the course of time. I think I like this one better. Um, maybe Perfect Peppermint is good as a mixer because um, you just want straight up peppermint to mix with something. I really like the vanilla in here. It really kind of smooths out the peppermint. Kind of like, I've never seen them here in Canada yet, but in the US, in Texas, they had these long white peppermints and what they weren't hard candies, you put them in your mouth and they melted really quickly. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? That is what I thought of when I was melting this. So it's the vanilla and the peppermint together. Really, really nice. Freshly fallen snow. What is that? Not sure, but I really like that one. So scent appeal, I gave that a nine and throw, I gave it an eight. It was also very strong. No complaints. I enjoyed it. Next is Clementine Blossom. And scent notes here are, where are you, Clementine Blossom? Searching, searching, searching. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm so silly. Clementine Blossom, I think is part of the, uh, the, um, the Valentine collection. Oh my goodness, yes it is. Okay, never mind. We'll talk about that another day. Quiver, at least I have it reviewed. Uh, Quiver is uh, looking like this. And Quiver is a fan favorite from for a long, long, long time. Vanilla flower, sandalwood, sandalwood, and tuberose. So I love anything with sandalwood, just about anything. And I like 
kind of warm, cozy, sultry scents, which this is. And on cold, I said, think of satin sheets or cashmere and corduroy or cozy cardigan, um, midnight fig. What's the other one? French kiss, all in that same kind of what I call kind of sultry, cozy, sultry category. And I love this one. This one is going to go in my club. I definitely got the sandalwood in here. Now, while I definitely got sandalwood, it has a little bit of a floral note to it. And I don't know exactly how strong tuber rose is. I'm guessing it's a relative of a rose, which I don't care for in wax. I can I find it kind of overpowering. Um, but so again, I don't know how tuber rose is related to rose and I should have looked it up, but I did not. But anyway, there is a light floral in here, but it's not it doesn't turn it into a perfumey scent. It's just a very light floral with this cozy sandalwood. Really, really nice. I really love this. As I said, this one is going into my club for sure. Possibly Peppermint Rush as well, uh, but definitely Quiver is going in the club. Now, Quiver, I gave a scent appeal 9 to 10. Loved it. And Throw was 8 to 9 out of 10. Very strong, very prominent. It lasted a long time. This one... Uh, this one was in the bedroom and he, like Jason doesn't really comment too much about the wax unless it's something he doesn't care for, which really, unless he really, really despises it, he doesn't, he just lets me do my thing and that's great. He, that's This is my thing and he knows it. So he doesn't say too much. He lets me do it. But anyway, um, not that that would matter because I love my wax too. But anyhow, this one he did comment on. He said, what's in the warmer? And I told him quiver. He said, oh, that's really good. I like that. So we'll be getting more of that. Um, so anyway, that is part one. Those are the five, well, six, because I melted a Valentine's collection one, of uh, part one. Again, so I'm not sure what my background is going to look here, like here in the next couple of weeks, but uh, until I get everything situated, you're probably going to see this mess again. Anyhow, uh, so as I said, I have a few more going, and I'll get those up on Sensi Saturday. And also, in the next couple of days, I'm going to talk about the uh scent and warmer of the month uh the disney drive in so that's it for now folks i hope this was helpful i hope you kind of take some notes i'll be back again on saturday for some more reviews and i'll try to get them up as fast as i can melt them and talk about them and, and kind of get a good idea for them you know obviously i can't smell something for an hour and talk about it unless i really despise it then i can uh anyway that's it for now i hope everybody has a lovely evening and i'll see you soon bye